So, so again, uh, uh, in case of uh, a conflict between uh, the certified standing orders and the appointment order, uh, which one will prevail? This, in fact, uh, one of the queries raised uh, in the last week's session. That is the reason I have brought it here. Uh, see, I think there's a very, very valid uh, question. Uh, so, so, so once, see, normally model standing orders will be applicable. But uh, if a company has its own certified standing orders, then that will become law for that company. Uh, for the workers working in that company, that will become law, right? So in case of any any conflict between that law, that is the certified standing orders and the appointment order, then definitely uh, technically saying the, the, the one in uh, the standing orders will provide, right? Rather than the uh, one in the appointment order. That is the idea. But again, when we say law, uh, suppose if the appointment order provides for a better service condition than what is prescribed under the standing orders, then I think uh, uh, that will uh, be held as valid. Uh, so that that point alone, uh, we may have to check, right? Uh, like uh, maybe even even if we uh, take the case of uh, uh, leave. So so uh, in case of uh, uh, factory side, uh, the, normally we'll provide a one day leave for uh, every 20 days of work performed in the previous year. So instead of one, so that is the law. So we, uh, whether we make a mention or uh, we do not make a mention in the appointment order, so that will automatically be applicable to the to a person, to a worker who is working in the factory, right? But in case in the appointment order, if we have mentioned it as two days for every 20 days of work, then that is more beneficial to the worker. So definitely then uh, this will become a binding contract, right? Because this is uh, also valid, but this is, uh, you are giving more uh, benefit than what is prescribed under the uh, law concern. So in that sense, in fact, uh, for, for points like that, in fact, over the class in the appointment order will provide. But normally, technically, if you want me to answer this question, uh, the provisions in the certified standing orders will provide over the provisions in the appointment order if there is any conflict. I'll move on. So, so, so whether whether the appointment order is necessary at all in the first place, right? Uh, if we go through some of the uh, states, uh, shops and establishments act, particularly Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. West Bengal, Assam, and other uh, some of other states, they are they have made it mandatory, right? So, so in these states, definitely uh, uh, the the employers are supposed to uh, issue appointment order, and of course, whatever format prescribed in the respective legislations, uh, it is uh, in that format uh, it is to be uh, submitted to the authority concerned also. But of course, the, as such, no central law mandates uh, appointment order as such, but but it is proposed in the occupational safety health and working conditions board so once uh, that code is through that comes into force then i think employers may have to provide appointment order in writing right but but it is a good practice and it is always advisable to issue appointment order so only uh, those companies uh, who do not have a kind of good practice they they, they hesitate to issue appointment order otherwise Many of the companies, uh, particularly the reputed companies, they issue appointment order. It is always better so that so that the the uh, the, uh, the service conditions or the other terms and conditions are very clearly written down, so that in case of any dispute on a later date, it will be easy for the parties concerned, right, to to uh, defend their uh, uh, cases, right. So so it is always advisable to issue appointment order. But if you technically ask me whether it is necessary, mandatory, even under, because uh, when we say contract of employment, it is also subject to the provisions of the Indian Contract Act. Even as per that act, it is not necessary that you have to put it in writing, right? You can, it, it can be, it can be uh, uh, implied, right? Without, without writing, it can be implied, it is possible. But, but uh, what will happen is in case, if some dispute arises between the parties on a later date, it will be uh, difficult for the parties concerned to prove their case. So, so it, it is always better to have the appointment order in writing and uh, 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 issuing it to the individual employee concern. That is always better, all advisable, and that is considered as a good practice.